Hey guys, hope you are doing well. So the crypto market is side waving and bleeding, but we do have some good news, but the market is not responding. My name is Mike Dankler from Coronex and from the Crypto Mites Global Movement. And I am bringing you the most important crypto news, technical analysis, altcoin, NFT, DeFi gems to keep you updated and educated. I should state that nothing is uh, um, financial advice in this video, so everything just for your education and entertainment purposes only so guys smash those like push the bell and notification or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so smashing those like is helping out the youtube algorithm so appreciate all your likes because this is what gives power to these videos so guys thank you for your likes and let's go check out our favorite bubble chart 0.5 percent traded about 26 000 us ethereum is uh, plus minus zero and we see most of the altcoins are in red let's see with five uh four five percent almost uh, just few like optimism frax and maker is up uh, so this is um, a sideways movement that uh, we see here on the chart let's go and check out our favorite indicator the crypto fear and green index we are in the fear zone at 46 and we are hovering around the fear zone and the neutral zone for a while now let's go and check out our next news let's see this is the our major news today that u.s lawmakers call on sec chair to approve spot etfs immediately so spot bitcoin etf immediately the member of the house financial service committee are expected the questions gary gensler during the uh, September 27 hearing on uh, SEC oversight. So, so for four member of uh, members of the United States Congress are requesting Securities and Exchange Commission SEC Chair Gary Gensler immediately approve the listing of spot Bitcoin exchange traded funds or ETFs. Uh, okay. So Mike Flood, Willie Nickel, Tom Emmer, and Richie Torres claim. The SEC was uh, discriminating against spot Bitcoin exchange traded products, citing the legal precedents set by Grayscale Investments in winning a review of its own ETF offering. The four lawmakers told Gensler there was no reason to continue to deny spot crypto ETF applications following the Grayscale court decision, which ruled the SEC reasoning was arbitrary and capricious in uh, having already approved investment vehicles tied to Bitcoin futures, Bitcoin futures, but not to sp uh, a spot Bitcoin ETF. A regulated spot Bitcoin ETP would provide increased potential for investors by making access to Bitcoin safer and more transparent, said the letter. Congress has a duty to ensure the SEC approves investment products that meet the re requirements set out by Congress. The lawmakers added, we urge uh, the approved the listing of spot Bitcoin ETPs immediately. Okay, so guys, this is quite insane that uh, the SEC is not doing its job and the Congress and lawmakers are urging uh, them to approve this ETF. So today the SEC has not approved the listing of any spot Bitcoin ETF many had expected uh, to commissions to re reconsider pending etf applications following the sec loss the grayscale uh, in court in august however the regulatory subsequently delayed decisions on ETFs from seven major firms blackrock wisdom tree invesco galaxy workire bitwise vanek and fidelity so guys actually this is a huge news um, let's see how the market will react uh, not too much happened uh, on the in the prices but um, let's see why why the sec has the intention not to prove the spot bitcoin etf but and why they already proved a uh, futures etf analyst willy Wu says the enemy of bitcoin btc regarding its ugly head again so willy Wu shares this this is a slide from my token uh, 2049 talk. It's the ratio of paper BTC combined futures open value that's traded versus the, BTC, the, real, the real BTC that it's highly liquid and traded. We are now in a regime 20 to 30% more 
BTC being traded. This counteracts a bullish supply shock. So paper BTC versus real BTC. So more paper BTC are traded than the real BTC. Okay. According to Wood, the rise of Bitcoin derivatives is taking liquidity away from BTC, enabling price manipulation and weaker rallies. The analyst says that the, since US dollars are much more abundant and readily available to investors than BTC, the future and derivatives markets allow large players to take big chunk of capital and use it to apply inorganic sell pressure to Bitcoin. Wu says that prom uh, prominence of such market is the enemy of Bitcoin and the reason why BTC has had less dramatic rallies in recent years compared to its early days. Long term, it allows institutions who, do, uh, who don't have BTC to sell it without restrictions as long as they have lots of USD. So how the exponential reflexibility bull runs ended once futures markets came online. All you need to check is the daily volumes being traded on futures. It drops the liquidity on spot markets. As long as is the case, spot markets orbit the gravity of future markets, not the other way around. Hence, you see the agenda laid out to delay a spot exchange traded fund ETF. For seven years, spot liquidity has been held back while futures markets have flourished, vastly outgrowing the spot market. So this is the reason why they are pushing derivative products and future, future uh, ETFs rather than pushing uh, or approving spot Bitcoin ETF with real volume. Next, do Bitcoin halving spark BTC price rallies or it is US Treasury, so which is contributing more to the rallies? Okay, so close relationship between the US 10-year Treasuries and Bitcoin halving price rallies. Okay, Bitcoin halving, halving versus 10-year treasury yields. Let's check this. BTC halving have uh, coincidentally arrived at local lows in treasury yields each of the first um, three times. After these moments, risk assets rose broadly while growth ex expectations also improved. Thus, a myopic Bitcoin narrative about supply shock was born but it was always macro. So we see that Bitcoin halvings and this is the treasury yields when treasury yields uh, actually increases. Uh, this should be something also with the Bitcoin price, but not too much. I, I, yeah. So could the 10 years chart be useful versus Bitcoin? For instance, during Bitcoin first halving, the 10-year yield had steadily rising for four months, making it challenges to label the date as a pivotal moment for the metric. So you see there. Stay safe. Yes. Okay. No Bitcoin rally is, is the same regardless of the halving. For instance, during the time that uh, these uh, indexes uh, significant margin with difference in performance with almost 15 percent difference in performance in conclusion chart can be misleading when analyzing extended time periods linking bitcoin strategy to a, a solitary event lacks statistical rigor when the upswing generally initiates three or four months after the said event so guys not too much that we uh, knew ab about this but at least we trust that the halving will uh, bring some bullish momentum. And let's check out next our next news. Classic Bitcoin indicator uh, suggests 2024 bull run, says trader who called May 2021 collapse. So the MACD is a momentum indicator. Uh, Dave the Wave uh, is using the, the Bitcoin monthly moving average convergence divergence so macd has fully reset into overbought uh, bullish territory underbought underbought bullish territory the macd is a momentum indicator that can signal the reversal of an asset trend the analyst uh, also uses his own version of logarithmic growth curve which aim to plot the highs and lows of bitcoin long-term market cycle while filtering out short-term volatility and noise okay so Dave the Wave, uh, 
uh, according to Dave Lowe, BTC has been trading at the bottom of the LGC, which he calls the buy zone for 15 months. Q4, then 2024. Bring it on. Monthly MACD shows as maturing market as predicted along the lines of the LGC model. MACD has crossed bullishly and we reset just below the zero line. Price has now been in LGC buy zone for 15 months. So we are in the buy zone almost more than 15 months. So this is the logarithmic curve and this is the MACD. And actually it crossed here and also went about the zero line. Bitcoin is still in the buy zone for longer term investors. While most of my charts emphasizes the macro bullish picture, this doesn't pr uh, pre preclude the possibility of further consolidation in the short term. Were such an event to occur, it would be dubbed traumatize many of crypto Twitter. However, for those subscribing to the LGC model, it would be just another day at the office. Uh, so we are in the downtrend and we can buy more Bitcoin at those levels because we are still in this accumulation zone. So guys, let's go uh, to my Twitter, Twitter feed and check out what's, uh, what is there. So guys, um, sign up and make a Twitter account. Uh, follow at MIKL West Denkler and also be sure is uh, just uh, pushing this ban for notifications. So also follow Korean platform and laserpunk underscore gods are upcoming NFT launchpad projects. So what a hell, Justin, US Congress members ask uh, SEC Chair Gary Gensler to approve spot Bitcoin ETFs. Breaking news, so almost this is the same. So guys, give a like and share. This is insane what's going on here. Genie NFTs are coming, definitely we will mint some. Super, super bullish on this one. Uh, the perfect union between AI and blockchain. And which is that? I think this is the fastest horse in the bear market. And which is that? We we'll see. Rollbit, the game five, uh, the game gamble five token can surge as BNB, uh, the token of the biggest uh, exchange, did. So this still crypto analyze this. So definitely check this analysis uh, because Rollbit is the most obvious 10x play in, in crypto according to him and uh, it can bring lots of gains check out this thread so olas is the only project capable of unifying ai chat gpt5 of its blockchain according to this still crypto so interesting thread that ha huh, these uh, olas ai is bringing chat gpt into blockchain base so base uh, mainnet uh, base blockchain uh, made by Coinbase surges past Solana as total value log nears 400 million and also base layer 2 is doing 200 week uh, per week profits and they suppress Solana 800,000 monthly active wallets and 400 million plus transactions and, and just I think uh, for 46 days ago so the base mainnet was launched 46 days ago. Can't wait to see how this plays out and how the market reacts over the next couple of coin earnings. So Coinbase shares is traded on Nasdaq. AI has the potential to be one of the strongest growth narratives in crypto. Check out these coins, but be careful because they are small caps and they are really volatile. So laser punks are coming. Do you have or your whitelist yet? Uh, if not, follow and comment uh, your Ethereum address. Give a like and definitely share this. Caspa has um, one uh, below uh, one billion US dollar market cap, just under one billion, and it's not even listed on Binance, Coinbase, and Kraken. So these are the exchanges that Caspa is available. Uh, what's next? Bitcoin arrow holder ratio looks at the capital rotation turning point across cycle transitions. So let's check this. So this is the arrow holder ratio looks at uh, the capital capital rotation turning point across cycle transitions. 
So single long-term hodlers, uh, six months to three years, one day to three months to the youngest short-term hodlers. So this is the hodler ratio. So we see that from short, uh, from uh, these are the short-term hodlers and we do have long-term hodlers. And this is the ratio uh, between those the bottom is in for this cycle and the lag for the next bull run has started so this is the lag for the next bull run give a like and share this okay macd on bitcoin monthly chart indicates big trend shift to come according to this analysis analysis obviously lagging uh, macd is lagging indicator but taking a closer look uh, at bitcoin it predicted the big trend shift to the monthly so guys definitely watch this and also huge news mike novogratz says the good news could come in october regarding the bitcoin etf he says that uh, we are going to get good news in october bitcoin is an inst in international asset this will be a game changer due to the sales forces of the ETF issuers. Definitely watch this. Uh, I like how Mike Novogratz is approaching the market. So definitely watch this. Ethereum surpasses 10 billion revenue in seven years. See how the big tech companies did it. So after, after Alphabet, which is Google, Ethereum reached, uh, let's say, the... 10 billion revenue in seven years um, meta is reached yeah these are the years okay seven this is seven yeah maybe seven but all other big tech companies like microsoft did it after let's see almost 18 years so this is huge how um, how ethereum is evolving banana and unibot uh, check this out this telegram broad projects uh, but be careful and bankruptcy filings increasing as the u.s banks are not in a good shape right now because these crazy treasury yields causing some turbulence as they cannot uh, make their holdings so liquid so guys uh Go to PancakeSwap and provide some liquidity in CoronX BNB pair and lock up your LPs and earn a juicy APRs. As uh, let's see, we do have uh, let's see, yes, 52% uh, APR uh, in CoronX BNB pair. So use our farms. So let's go and check out what do we have here. So Bitcoin is side waving, not too much happening, a little bit boring. A breakout attempt failed uh, and also we are below moving averages I should extend this trend line because I think we will hovering around this for a while and let's see when we will break then a huge move will come either to the down, uh, dance uh, or to the upside so guys that's it for today hope you enjoyed hope you learned something see you in the next video bye bye